Here on these Brussels steps in 1911 stood Nobel Prize winners Marie Curie and Albert Einstein. They were attending the prestigious Solvay conference at a pivotal moment for science, for discovery, for humanity. Today, we stand on the edge of a new era, powered by 5G, industrial IoT, and quantum computing. The challenge for the European Parliament and for the whole of Europe is to go further, as Isaac Newton said, by standing on the shoulders of giants. When we speak about the Internet of Things, we need to see it as an enabler, an enabler for data analytics, for forecasting, for innovation in each of these sectors. Digital by default means human-centered by default. It's very important. And secondly, the focus on citizens uh, needs paved the way for the European Union to be competitive in the new gigabyte society. Imagination, said Einstein, is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. So when we speak of the Internet of Things, of edge computing and smart data, we should also speak of the arts, that vast reservoir of imagination and color. Binding the Internet of Things, data and the arts is a process of experimentation, a catalyst for engineers to think differently, a springboard for older industries towards a brighter future. By putting the arts within this technological paradigm, we are terrible charging Europe's industrial engine, fueling an accelerator for innovation. So having also this essence of creativity there, so that the um, artists and the creators will know where to go to meet technology, I think can create um, a better future and we can, uh, we can see amazing innovation happening in Europe and staying in Europe. Both when we speak about scientific work but also creative work, there is a big chunk going into trials. Uh, sometimes even errors, uh, until you get to that masterpiece uh, and until it's ready. So it's definitely complementary rather than being a self-excluding process. Policy discussions in all sectors are punctuated with mentions of artificial intelligence, but who really benefits from AI? As European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen observed, we must ensure technology is human-centric. She said, it is time for what distinguishes human beings, time for what computers can't do empathy and creativity. Looking at the, the ethical principles of the technology and that the, the, the person has to be the center. So there is technology for the people and with the people. That is very important. With artificial intelligence, we see that we need to, to move and to adapt uh, our reality in every sector in what is happening in this transformation. Um, so the need for a European digital innovation hub in every country I would say even in every city, it's now uh, there more than ever. So imagine if you want to be innovative, um, if you have a small uh, company and you need to ask someone how you can use all this amazing technology. To help industries stay focused on human-centric economic progress, leading scientists have proposed that Europe adopts a formal policy approach to benchmark the human element of technology what they call an Experience Readiness Level, or ERL, to ensure that technology is always evaluated from a human perspective. Technology Readiness Level, TRL, is a well-known tool used to describe the maturity of technology. It was used as part of the Internet of Things large-scale pilots of the European Union. The program developed the new concept of ERL as a result of cooperation between the large-scale pilots and STARTS, the Science, Technology and Arts Initiative of the Digital Single Market of the European Union. By adopting Experience Readiness Level, the EU can ensure that the digital single market puts humans at the centre. You cannot create demand by offering solutions, you have to be able to be smart and adaptive and, and, and predict where you should focus on. I would say that the NERL would be um, a significant tool actually to measure the impact of the European digital innovation hubs, for example, and, and I would say that there are uh, reasons to do that because any transformative leadership activity has also uh, levels of uncertainty and also quantifying uncertainty allow us to improve the risk management and mitigate the danger of a, of a black swan. With the COVID-19 pandemic came a sudden healthcare and economic crisis. Now, it is clear to see how a human-centric approach to applications for medical care, smart and clean mobility, and agriculture is really needed. 
Technology should now be assessed not just in terms of technological safety and maturity, but investors should also evaluate projects in terms of tech usefulness to Europe's citizens to improve quality of life, safety, security, and accelerate economic growth and prosperity. The COVID-19 recovery package is an opportunity to scale up the Internet of Things as an enabler for Europe's digital single market and the European Green Deal. It would bring more efficiency in the same time uh, would also help our digital transformation be way more sustainable but also irreversible uh, which is absolutely key at this point. Europe needs the Internet of Things to meet the UN Sustainable Development Goals. So avoiding data silos and providing data sharing mechanisms and infrastructure is essential. The Next Generation Internet Initiative proposed under the New Horizon Europe program is capable of achieving dependable IoT connectivity by closely building on edge computing, AI, 5G and 6G evolution. But to do so, Europe needs the arts to boost curiosity, inspire innovation, unlock the imagination and underpin acceptance of change. Artistic expression can lead citizens and organizations often skeptical about technology and its usefulness to explore innovation and challenge neat box thinking in the new complex world of digital wonders. We realize that we don't have these procedures to, to merge these available technologies that we have in our everyday activities. Um, because it was convenient, things were working, and um, only when things don't work, you are using these new technologies. And it's very difficult because the traditional system is quite resistant into change. Marie Curie said, I am one of those who think like noble, that humanity will draw more good than evil from new discoveries. On this 21st century voyage of discovery, the European Parliament's ITER committee is standing front and centre, advancing this new digital future. MEPs must surely see, Europe is not embarking on a new enterprise. We are standing on the shoulders of giants.